Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, our next weather maker is a backdoor cold front there. They're very typical during the early spring, and the dramatic uh, changes that they can bring over a short period of time, uh, it's just, it's pretty spectacular as far as the, the fall in temperature. So bottom line, we've been talking about this roller coaster ride that's on the way for the weekend with some big changes. In the meantime, you know, a little bit of everything today. Clouds, hazy sunshine, a few scattered showers. We're getting some brightening now in this late day, early evening down in Newport. Starting to see the sun come back through the cloud cover. A uh, big range in temperature right now. It's very cool in Newport. You've got the wind off the water at 49, but it's uh, 14 degrees warmer in Smithfield, and it's in the 70s out towards uh, Connecticut. Bottom line, you're heading out your Friday evening. It looks okay. Not anticipating any showers. It'll be milder than the last couple of nights. So if you're going to be out towards the coastline, places like Newport, grab maybe a slightly warmer jacket with the wind off the water. It's a little cooler there, but inland areas like Smithfield, it's still 64 after reaching 65. Not quite 70, missing it by 5 degrees, and that 65 degree high temperature was only for a short amount of time. Big changes are on the way for the weekend. They start on Saturday, so let me break it down because morning, afternoon, and evening, all three of these time periods will be completely different. Best part of the day is during the morning. A little sunshine, it's dry, and it's milder temperatures, upper 50s to around 60. This backdoor cold front is going to come in a lot sooner now, so uh, we're not going to be forecasting temperatures as mild on Saturday as we were originally thinking. So by the afternoon hours, the clouds are rolling in, the wind is turned northeast, the temperature is falling rapidly. Most of the afternoon is dry, but once we get to around 6 o'clock in the evening, and especially by uh, tomorrow evening, we do expect some cold drizzle and some mist, raw and chilly for your Saturday night. And unfortunately, that really extends into uh, Sunday as well. You know, wind direction makes all the difference in the world as far as how our temperatures behave. We're going to have an east-northeast wind Saturday night and Sunday. So it's coming in um, off the ocean and water temperatures off the coast of Maine. And this is Nova Scotia right in here. It's only in the upper 30s to low 40s. So this is a damp, raw, cold, kind of a wet a wind direction doesn't really bode well as far as sunshine and warming things up. And that's why Sunday is going to be un, uh, unseasonably cold and it will be very damp. Clouds finally thinning out. We should have a decent uh, sunset with some sunshine as we widen out the view. It's this boundary that we're tracking right in here. This is like a picket fence. It's separating two seasons, winter to the north, springtime, summertime warmth just to the south. And eventually this colder air is going to win out. Um, beginning to uh, Saturday evening and especially into Sunday. So your future cast starting off pretty good this evening. Uh, some low clouds along the uh, coastline, but otherwise your Friday evening looking okay. Uh, things really start to go downhill later Saturday evening with chilly drizzle. And that extends into Sunday. It is unseasonably cold. It would not surprise me to see some sleet mixing in with that cold drizzle on Sunday. And Marathon Monday, unfortunately, still looks wet but milder with a temperature coming in at uh, 57 degrees. In fact, we may be talking record cold as far as the high temperature coming up on Sunday. Oh, yippee. We yeah. are excited.